Dr. Francis Cress Welsey was born Francis Luella Cress in Chicago, Illinois on March 18, 1935. Her father, Henry, was a physician and her mother, Ida Mae, was a teacher. Coming out of a household with a firm belief in education, she excelled in school. During high school, she was very popular and participated in several clubs, and she was a member of the National Honor Society and a clear candidate for most likely to succeed. In 1953, after high school, she attended Antioch College. There, she enrolled in a work-study program, gaining full-time work experience as a lab technician at the New York State Psychiatric Institute, while also earning her Bachelor's of Science degree. Following her graduation, she enrolled at Howard University's Medical College. There, she met Ghanaian Johannes Kramer Wilson, whom she eventually married. Upon graduating from Howard Medical College in 1962 with her MD, she completed her three-year residency at St. Elizabeth's Hospital in Washington, D.C. Afterwards, she completed a two-year fellowship in child psychology at D.C.'s Children's Hospital. With a strong foundation, she began her career as a general and child psychiatrist. She was also an assistant professor at Howard University. It was here where she began to formulate her theory on global white supremacy and how the system is maintained and controlled. She published her findings titled The Crest Theory of Color Confrontation in 1970. Dr. Wilson's statements and ideas caused a lot of controversy amongst academia and it even led to her losing her job at Howard University. However, she continued her work as a psychiatrist working with school children with adverse childhood experiences and opened up her own establishment. In 1974, she debated Dr. William Shockley on the Tony Brown Show. Her ideas being grounded in quantitative and qualitative research over the next few decades raised much controversy and even gained her features on national television, most famously the Phil Donahue Show. In the 1990s, the LA Times published an article about her titled, The First Scientist to Psychoanalyze White Racism. Chuck D, a public enemy, credited Dr. Wilson with providing him the intellectual inspiration for his role in producing the album, The Fear of the Black Planet. She was also featured in many films. Behind the controversy or cognitive dissonance of some, Dr. Francis Chris Wilson was a psychiatrist and staunch advocate for equality and the development of melanated people across the globe, and her legacy continues to this day.